everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So I'm kind of in a little crafty rut. I really don't know what to do, but the only thing that comes to my mind is making a master board. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna turn it into artist trading cards. I got this pad of paper uh, from Timu in my last Timu haul. So I'm gonna cut up some of these into little squares. And it's really thin paper, which I love. So I'm just gonna grab a few different ones here. And oops, I ripped that one. Looks like maybe there are there two of each. Yes, there is two of each. I don't want that one. It's too orange for me. Let's go here. Ooh, and this one too. Oh, dang it, I keep ripping them. Okay, I need to slow down, I'm getting excited now. <laughs> Let's take that off, okay. Let's just flip through. I don't know how many I'm gonna need, but I do want a little bit of a variety. Did I just see the word fibromyalgia? Oh no, gosh, that totally looked like it too. Okay, and then I want something like this. Let's see, what else do we have? No, no, maybe, eh, mm. Oh yeah, that one's different, okay. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I don't really know exactly what I'm looking for here, but I think that'll do. Ah, I like this one too. <laughs> okay, that's good for now. I don't need to rip all of these up. Okay, so I'm gonna put those aside. Oops, hello. We got a, we got a clinger. So I'm just gonna take my little trimmer here and I'm not even gonna measure. I'm just gonna cut these up into little different shapes. And then I'm gonna use these to collage. Whoa, I'm going ham, I'm going crazy. Crafters gone wild. I hope you guys are having a really good day today. I need some more coffee, I think. Hook me up with the coffee. I do love me some coffee. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have the funniest story for you. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I just wanna clarify that I did ask for permission and I wasn't gonna say who these people were, but the person in question said I could just say who it was because they said, <laughs> they said that I have such an understanding group <laughs> that they know that you'll understand and, you know, it's a human thing. It happens to everyone. Okay. <laughs> so my mom and my sister and I, <laughs> we have a group text, obvi, and <laughs> my mom recently got a new cell phone and she switched providers and it's kind of been a pain in the butt. So she's had some, uh, phone problems, yada, yada. And, uh, so I just want to say that's kind of the backstory there. So the other day, sometimes I put my phone down at night because obviously my phone is a big part of my job and, uh, well, not my phone, but you know, like social media and stuff. And sometimes I just need a break from my phone and social media and all that stuff. So I don't always answer my texts and stuff right away. And so <laughs> I had been making dinner and stuff, so I didn't know what was going on. So anyways, I come to my phone. <laughs> And my sister, oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, I know I'm taking so long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so both my mom and my sister ended up getting COVID recently, which is horrible. My poor mother and my poor sister, who's a teacher and just starting back to school. So it's kind of, it was just horrible timing and I feel horrible for my mother. I didn't have it. So I'm just being their little cheerleader on the side, hoping that they get better, right? So I go to my phone after, you know, I hadn't had it for a while. And I see this text from my sister saying, oh my gosh, I did something we're never supposed to do. And I trusted a fart and good thing <laughs> I was in the shower. <laughs> and that there was cleaning supplies nearby. <laughs> Of 
course he did. <laughs> My sister was taking that medication that helps you get over COVID quicker. And the side effect of it is it causes diarrhea. <laughs> My mom, who has had COVID once before, me, let, also, both my mom and my sister are, like, massively vaccinated, okay? <laughs> they, there's, like, new variants that come out and stuff. So, my mom opted not to take that medication this time and just suffer through the COVID. Because last time her diarrhea was so bad, but my sister chose to take it because she was starting school and she needed to be better. And she has, you know, two kids that are also starting school and she didn't want them to get it. <laughs> but what are the chances? First of all, thank God my sister was in the shower when this happened. <laughs> Second of all, what are the chances that my mom would be... Um, at the store this is before my mom knew that she would this is before my mom got sick by the way so my mom wasn't at the store with covid by the way just i want to clarify that um so anyways <laughs> it was so funny so then i get on the text and i'm like dying laughing and my sister's like i've been waiting for your response <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know, sometimes it's just fun being an older sister. I tell you, I don't know. That was just so funny. I laughed so hard. I guess you kind of had to have been there. And this was like a week ago, so I don't remember the exact conversation. I mean, I pretty much said it verbatim, but there might have been more funny things in there. But I have never laughed so hard in my life. What are the chances <laughs> that my sister would text and my mom was there at that time? I, it was so funny, you guys. Maybe you had to have been there. Um, but that was funny. So anyways, thank you to my sister for allowing me to share her embarrassing moment. Uh, because you know, she's a good sport like that. I just, I have never laughed more in all my life. <laughs> oh, thankfully my sister is all better now or she's getting there. And so is my mom. They're getting there. Um, but yeah, that was my story that I've been waiting to tell you guys. <laughs> oh my God, I would be mortified. My sister is such a good sport. <laughs> I would be totally mortified. Uh. <laughs> I just, every time I need to laugh, I just think about it because it's just so funny to me. Oh man. Whoa, hello. Oh, I thought that was a mo that was a car, you guys. I thought that was a motorcycle. So with my, <laughs> back to the art, um, with my master board here, I'm gonna put my papers going every which direction um, because I'm gonna cut up my, well, I just want it that way. That <laughs> I guess that's just a simple answer. Um, I'm gonna cut this up and when you cut up an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, uh, <laughs> about it okay stop Nicole be professional uh when you cut up a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper you can do um and you're cutting it to artist trading cards you can go two and a half you know all the way down two and a half all the way down and then this way three and a half all the way down so then you'd cut these three and a half and you cut these two and a half I'll show you when we're done here um if I ever get done because I'm laughing and I can't concentrate so yeah that's Oh my gosh, I just, oh, that was so funny. Whew, man, I'm exhausted now from that laughter. And I am going to overlap a little, I know. I don't usually do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm trying, I'm going out of my comfort zone and overlapping. Yay me, I get a sticker. Okay, now I'm freaking out, Xena, because I'm talking too much and I'm being too loud. I'm sorry, I'm okay. Go sit down. Get in your bed. Ma'am, get in your bed. She's like, um, no, you ma'am. <laughs> you be quiet. Oh, there. She's laying down now. Oh, I love this grill. We call dogs grills in our house because I can't remember if it was Andrew or me. One of us when we were little, my son, um, said grill instead of girl. And so my dad and my, my dad always said grill. 
I think it was me. Actually, maybe it was Andrew. I don't know. It's hard when you have a kid that's in their 20s because now I can't remember who said what. Um, anyway, so we call them grills. Did you say a word weird when you were little? That's one of my favorite things. Like every, well, of course you did because I think pretty much every little kid says a word wrong a little bit. I used to say lello instead of yellow. Um, my parents told me. And... Andrew, he's going to kill me for this. No, I'm not going to say it because I didn't ask his permission first. But why would he care? He used to say motatas instead of motorcycles. But he was very tiny. Andrew, both my kids talked really young. Um, lucky me. <laughs> and they haven't stopped since. And I don't know where they get that from. <laughs> oh, man. My kids are pretty early walkers, too. Oops, this one wasn't pushed all the way. Get over Especially Jackson, because he had an older brother. So he wanted to be on the move. And Jackson's always been on the move. That kid, let me tell you. He is a mover. Um, let me get some of these papers at the bottom here. And here we go. This is one of my favorite activities to do because I really love just the art of, or the activity of, I guess I should say, of gluing paper. Um, it doesn't even have to be in an, in an artistic setting per se. Um, I just really enjoy it. It's very relaxing to me. So doing master boards is one of the things I love to do when I just want to glue. I don't want to really think too much. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing today. It sounded fun and I wanted to do it. Maybe I'll just do that. I had to listen to some music to pump me up. Have a little dance sesh. Does anybody else do that? I'm in a really bad flare up right now. So I'm super exhausted and I've been in a ton of pain. It's par for the course. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. I just gotta get through it. <clears throat> okay. What other papers do I want? Have I not used this one yet? Oh, gosh, I love it when they fit perfect. Ugh, so satisfying, isn't it? Zena, I'm fine. <laughs> Every time I make like a noise, she gets up. Zena is very much, um, I've mentioned this before. Zena is my girl dog. Uh, she's like a therapy dog. And so if we raise our voice or we're having anxiety, she'll run over and sit on our lap or like boop us. She's booping me right now with her little nose. I'm okay. I'm having fun. I'm not upset. So that's what she's doing to me right now. I'm fine. I'm okay. Thank you. You're a good girl. Thank you for looking out for sissy. And for any of you that are new, I refer to Zena as Sissy quite a bit because she was my parents' dog, mostly my dad's, um, that he got when he was diagnosed with terminal cancer. And <clears throat> I took over taking care of her once my dad uh, became very ill and uh, my mom was his primary caretaker. And then we decided as a family after my dad had passed, um, I still had her for a while just so my mom could like, you know, do her thing, um, grieve and that kind of thing. So then we decided as a family that we just wanted her to stay with us. And it worked out really well because she got along great with Sherman and um, she was a really big help to me during that time. And so anyways, long story short, my dad had passed away last year and Zena stayed with us and my mom can see her, you know, as much as she wants. She was only, um, I want to say maybe a year and a half, maybe a little bit less when we got her and my parents got her from a shelter. My mom is so sweet. My dad wanted a dog really bad because they're, my dad's baby dog had passed away and he was just, you know, battling cancer and he was super, he just, my dad's a dog person. So my mom went and waited in line. Um, this was during COVID times outside to be the first in line to pick a dog for my dad. Um, 
they had already spotted. Uh, Xena was a group. Um, my mom can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't quite remember, but something to the effect of, I think she, they were a group of puppies that were abandoned. There was no mom or something like that, or the mom got adopted and the puppies were still at the shelter or something like that. So Xena was one of a bunch of puppies and they had two that they were looking at. And the one that they thought was their first pick when my mom got there was like, nope, <laughs> she's not the one. Uh, just the mentality of the dog was not what they were looking for in that moment. And then she met Xena and she was like, yep. And Xena is very sweet. Um, she has a lot of energy, but she's a very sweet girl and we love her so much. She's been a blessing to our household. So I'm very grateful to my mother for our, um, letting us keep her. And I know my mom is grateful that we have her. So it was just a win-win all the way around. And it's not like my mom didn't bond with Xena or anything like that, but my mom was my dad's uh, caretaker 24 hours a day. So she didn't really have a bond like my dad did with her because she was like my dad's dog and my mom had her dog. But I mean, Xena was still my mom's dog too. Don't get me wrong. Um, my mom's a huge animal lover as well, but she was very bonded with my dad <clears throat> and my mom was so busy taking care of my dad, you know? So um, my mom had important things to be doing. So anyhow, I feel really special to have my dad's dog and that's why I call her Sissy because in our family, our pets are like our, our family. They're our, part of our family. So since she was my parents' dog, she is my sister. So I just refer to her as Sissy. Don't I? Huh? Sometimes I was just talking to my mom about this the other day that I feel like it's almost like my dad, this is a little gift for my dad, is Xena. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Plus, I think it's really neat. I'm sure my dad is very happy in heaven knowing that his grandsons, his oldest grandsons, he has four grandsons, two littles, two bigs, um, that his oldest grandsons have his baby. So, all right, let's keep it going here. This is looking so good. I really like this, um, overlapping situation here. Normally I don't do that. This paper is very thin though, so it makes it super easy to do that. Maybe I'll just put this right here. Oh, there are too many airplanes for you today. I got you, girl. I got you. Xena's not a huge fan of very loud noises, <clears throat> especially high-pitched noises, but she hates airplanes. It's weird though. When we're outside, she's fine like when she hears the airplanes, but inside she does not like it. She's getting better though with noises, especially living here because um, <clears throat> at my parents' house, it was just my dad and my mom and you know, she was a COVID puppy. So they couldn't really do a lot of things to see people because we were, everybody was in lockdown. And so, you know, that's probably why Part of the reason why she doesn't like loud noises, noises is, you know, she wasn't really used to having a lot of them as she was growing up. But um, since being here and we have a family of four, you know, and most of us are home all the time because we're homebodies, she's gotten a lot better about noise. She has her head in my lap right now. We are very close, aren't we, Xena? You're my girl. I've never had a girl dog before. I mean, growing up, <clears throat> our family dogs and my parents' dogs have always been girls. Um, what's funny is that my parents had have had two girls. My sister and I each have two boys, and we both have had boy dogs. <laughs> We've only had boy dogs. How weird is that? I wonder if that's like a thing. Like you, you feel like you're used to that gender because your kids are that gender. I don't know. But now I have a boy dog and a girl dog, and they get along so well. Oh, this one looks crooked to me. Oh, there we go. Should I go like that? Let's do it. Another thing I like about this when you just collage with neutrals is that it's very, um, like everything just 
blends together. I don't know. It's really nice. I really like these papers. They're really thin, so that's why I'm overlapping. I can't remember if I finished my thought. I apologize if I'm not finishing my thoughts. Um, I get really bad brain fro frog. <laughs> I have frogs in my brain. I get bad brain fog from my fibromyalgia. So just, um, you know, sorry about that. I know it's super annoying. I hate it when I'm watching a video and the person I'm like, finish your freaking sentence. <laughs> and then here I am doing the same thing. I know I'm, I apologize. Uh, it's not on purpose. Okay. So I want to cut this one. Actually, maybe I'll cut this one. I just need a couple thinner strips. That might be too thin. Let's go like that. Okay. I love this little trimmer. It's my favorite. Okay, let's see. Do I want to add? Yeah, I will. I'll just add a little strip right there. What's going on, girl? You know what I think she wants. I think she wants a W-A-L-K. We have this thing where <laughs> we call it running her. So we'll take the boys, we'll take her out back, or I will. Um, <clears throat> mostly the boys. And they play catch with her and stuff. And then they chase her around the yard. And she loves it. Oh my gosh. This girl, she is never as happy as she is when those boys are chasing her around the yard. And she tries to, you know, she is very fast. Xena is part with it. And, uh, well, she's a mix because she was. Uh, like a mutt, I guess, but she is Whippet and Husky. And she is definitely fast like a Whippet would be and furry like a Husky. She is so fast. And the spin moves, oh my gosh, when my dad would take her to the dog park, people would be like, oh my gosh, that is crazy. <laughs> She's so fast. They were like, wow. And she is insane. In a good way, huh? You're insane like your sissy. Are you insane like me? I need to cut a little bit of this off. Let's go about right here. Oh, perfect. I like it. Okay. Oh, this is fun. I want to make some more. Maybe I'll just make a few of these today. I can't believe today is Thursday already. And my best friend just texted me before I started filming that my goddaughter is graduating from preschool tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I cannot even believe it. She starts kindergarten in two weeks. I'm just blown away by that. It's crazy how fast kids grow up. And then I just got, Jackson just went and got his um, registered for school. My son, my youngest son, he's a junior in high school now. And oh my gosh, his ID card. I just, how is my baby a man? I just don't get it. It's insane. And then my nephew is going to be in first grade. I just, I mean, he's such a big boy now. And then he's going to be seven in, next month. I just, I can't even believe it. He's such an amazing kid. <clears throat> and he was a major preemie too. And he is doing so good. He's such a good kid. He's so sweet. Um... I'm just really proud of my, my nephew. He's such a good kid. Let's see here. And then my other little nephew is going to be starting preschool for the first time. Oh my gosh. I just, everybody's growing up so fast. It's like kids really make time just fly by, don't they? They just do. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay, so that looks really good. I was kind of thinking I might stamp some leaves or something on it. I don't know. Should I do that? Doesn't that look awesome? Oh my gosh, that is fun. I need to blow my nose. I'll be right back. I need to blow my nose. Okay, so I decided I'm going to stamp on my master board a little bit. I wanted to use my little leaf stamp here. I'm just going to do both at the same time, but I'm going to put them in different directions. There we go. So let's just add a couple leaves here and there. So let's just go like this. 
maybe up here. I'm gonna go this way. There. Perfect. Ta-da! Okay. So let's put these back. No, I don't clean my stamps. I know, I know. Some of you are just totally freaking out right now. But listen, it's okay. They're my stamps, not yours. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Okay, so then I have some postage stamp ones. I've never used this one, so that's cool. That's cute. Do, 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 do. Someone once told me that if, with my brand new stamps, if I put my fingers on them like this or your back of your hand or something, it helps get whatever's on there off and then your ink will stick better the first time around. I don't know if that's true, but I've been doing it ever since. Okay, so let's just add, so I have a little bit of red here and here, so let's go over here. Right there. Ooh wee, that looks nice, that looks real nice. Okay, I'm gonna do this. This is a magazine I was just gluing on. I'm gonna go like this because I want to go a little bit off the page here. There we go. And then let's go over here and I'll put that residual side over here. There we go. So we're not wasting any. Ooh, this looks so good. I like it. All right, should we do one more? We got time for one more. There we go. Yeah, this little triangle one. You know what I'll use for this one? Let's use blue. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. I don't know where I got that song from, but I've been singing it for years. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. Okay, blue. We're gonna go right here. Ta-da, classified. Ooh, this looks good. here. I'm going to go right here. I slammed it down like that because I didn't want to be too like perfect. So I was just trying to find a spot for it and let it be. Okay. So that's good. I got a couple of those. Okay. I have these rub on transfers. Maybe I'll just add a couple of these. I'm going to Cut them apart though. These are just Dollar Tree ones I've had for some time. I don't know if they are still there or not. Probably not. Dollar Tree moves their product pretty fast and then they don't always come back. But definitely look at Dollar Tree for rub-ons because that is a great place for them. Okay, so let's add this one. We're just going to put it right across there. Where's my little... love these so fun okay okay there we go oh whoa that one's flying okay and then I have this one maybe we'll put this one down here And I'm okay if they're not on there perfect. I think that kind of makes it better. I usually take a little bit of whatever residual I have on my little ink dabber and go over that because then it like catches on the little white pieces that are sometimes around it and it just makes it blend in better. I don't know. That's just something I've been doing and it works for me. Okay, so I have those two. Do I want to add any more? I kind of feel like I need at least one more. I think I'm going to leave that. All right, everyone, I've gone back and forth a little bit in this video as to whether I wanted to make multiple of these for a future project or if I was going to turn these into artist trading cards. I'm just going to turn them into artist trading cards. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to cut this at two and a half inches. You may be wondering why I turned it over. It's because I don't want to see what my artist trading cards are going to look like. It's kind of part of the surprise. So then I'm going to cut this again at two and a half okay and then these should be three and a half which they are but just want to double check yes okay so now I'm going to cut these to two and a half there's one 
Artist trading cards are two and a half by three and a half inches. That is the only rule about them. That's a lie. There's two rules. One, they're not to be sold. And two, they need to be two and a half by three and a half inches. What do I mean by they are not to be sold? They are typically just traded. Those are the only rules I have ever heard about artist trading cards. Okay, so the two and a half inch strips, I'm now going to cut to three and a half. Three and a half, two and a half, and two and a half, or three and a half. Gosh, don't listen to me. <laughs> okay, I'm saying it wrong, but I'm cutting them all right. So all of these now are two and a half by three and a half inches. So let's take a look at them. Let me move all my stuff out of the way. These are my little bits that are left. I can use those for something else. Tabs, anything like that that I wanna use in maybe a journal or something. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. And remember, I'm gonna collage on these and stuff too. These are just backgrounds. Oh, these look so good. Oh, wait, you guys can't even see these. Sorry. <laughs> okay. We have fun around here. There we go. Ta-da. Okay. Actually, I should put these in three. Three, 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 three. Or fours, threes. All right, so there are my artist trading cards all ready to be inked and decorated, and I'm super excited to do that. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow and we can decorate these. I think that would be really fun. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. All the cool kids are doing it. Don't forget to drink your water throughout the day and have a fabulous day today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends. Thank you.